had a sense that the spirits, his word, would help him. So he said he called for help, like a little kid would. Please help me, they're killing me out here on the beach. He said when he tried to do it like an idea, again, it not much seemed to happen. But he said when he tried it more body oriented, it began to change very fast. The count he used then, it's just an advanced two count. Uh, he used fire, water, uh, ground, air, ground, <laughs> that, that group, uh, because that's how it felt at the beach. There was water, there was air, whatever. whatever. So he used those as uh, the <laughs> of the spirits. And he suddenly, very quickly, got stronger. He's cold in his own. Everybody in town, knowing he's the sick kid, knowing he hardly made it from day one, were shocked. But he continued this one, two, three, four, and he got even better. He was top dog on the beach with the other sumo kids. Okay? So I said to him, because sometimes he used to say uh, that he's kind of normal, and I said, that sounds kind of like, uh, what's, what do you call it, special kid? Uh, a kid can play a violin at three. What do you call it? Come on. Yeah, prodigy. You sound a little bit like a prodigy. And you said, yeah, I guess I was. And then he continued with this process. Because we know as he got older, teenager, he was starting to get famous as being able to do feats of strength. Okay, so that was the beginning of his development that way. So basically, uh, he just said what, what we were talking about, easy, subtle, open, clear, and let these forces, we're using one, two, or receptive positive, he used one, two, three, four, that's okay, sometimes they're like a four count, no big deal. Uh, and let them mix, and his body was getting stronger and stronger really fast. Huh? Duh? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I thought, oh, a uh, hot core is coming back, one point, whatever you want to call it. And so I said to Paul, those of you who know Paul when he was there, champion sword swinger, by the way. Uh, he was the champion on a champion team. Uh, he was a little bit special with how things were. So I said, Paul, what was your first intro to core? And Paul, always liked uh, training, physical training at the gym. And he said, yeah, no private teacher who brought up core. And he said, uh, as he was playing with that, uh, within a few months, he was getting much, much, much stronger. His weights he was lifting jumped like 30% more in a few months. But let me tell you, I've pumped iron for years. That's, wow. But he caught this core something. Okay. Uh, but the basic, the basic. Energies are mixing, there's a core, around the core is a character, and in a sense they worked a strong kid. Stay with for quite a while. Where are we? Anything on that? Simple enough? <laughs> I have a tangent, maybe? Huh? Uh, you, you talked about the fish man? The f yeah, okay, we'll get into the fish man if you want. Then, there was but well, since they like the water, like to go deep into the ocean, you know, had an affinity for it. And there was a guy down at the wharf who was a spear fisherman. And oh, since I noticed when this guy went into the water, within a moment he looked like a fish. <laughs> like, wow. So he hung out with the guy and learned a bit about that. We know he liked it a lot because he carried it because when the Russo Japanese War happened <coughs> and he talked bayonet, he used the fish man as his basic character. <coughs> Which tells me a couple of things. One, he really liked the mix that changes a character. And that he hadn't caught on yet to the mix can create any kind of character. So he didn't create a bayonet man, he created fish man who could move pretty cool with that. 
but I don't think he continued to do that. I think he tried to find out the character of Bayonet Man. <laughs> so it kind of tells you where he was at certain times. Make sense? Mm -hmm. That you get careful, like in the human condition, we get stuck on one set of identity. Like, oh, this is me and I don't do anything else. I've always done it this way. And not to realize, I don't know, maybe, maybe the universe is like a play. <coughs> and yes, you have your main character. But you do a little process so you can have a variety of characters. That's okay. And that's kind of fun. For example, when you're okay, you can't retain the same character. Because you always attack exactly the same way. Uh, I attack this one. Now, Nage is stuck with dealing with this guy. Year after year <laughs> after year. You must have the capability of opening, remixing, and changing your attack format. So, Nage can practice with a different grouping of energies. That's your job. Okay? And so, Nage is clearing to get a character that matches your attack, and you practice getting a better attacker for that situation. Is that? So, uh, are you saying that if we're moving from say a Mune Ski to a Yokomi, we should be reassembling that yes. Yokomi strike? Yes. <coughs> yes. The character you establish, bear with me now, it's not the Otome. To go out with your girlfriend is a little bit different than the character you go home to your wife with. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that was natural, but I, I just gave you a great, true message. Here. So, yes, you change. Because uh, the guy who skis doesn't necessarily know how to yoke him. to be fuller at each change of character, and after all, faster and faster. So the transition, choo, 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 choo. and you'll get stuck in a character, and open-ended. They said, what's his name did that? Famous Japanese actor. Mm. Uh, Mifune of acting, not Mifune. Kudo. And he was at a party, and somebody asked him about his ability to change characters, full more. They said, oh, okay, watch. Maybe he turned, boom, he turned back, and here's the character. The energy, even the facial, he looks different than his norm. There's a character there. Got it? And then he turned, boom, there was a different character. Full born. Facial was different. The presence was different. So that's an actor who knows he doesn't act. He clears, so the system mixes up characters. Ta-da! Da -da. So, so, when we train, we need that moment at first to ah, change modalities, change characters on both sides. Yeah. So does that character, when we sort of shift um, you deeper, deeper roots, do you, that's the same character shifting, or it might mix up? If you're doing the same movie, you're on you're lineage. Just, yeah. Same mm -hmm. lineage. Same character. You open to whatever wants to mix character. Mm -hmm. If you're retaining your fish man, you might never get to ah whatever. So don't be locked in on, on something. There's a character that you like, you want to spend more time with the character, hang out in the world, well, a month, a year, I don't know, you're ready to free. But no, after a while, your system's going to want to introduce more stuff, and you're going to get bumped a bit. And you say, what's wrong with the character? Well, it's just time to move along. Well, said that they do is always bump, people don't know that. <laughs> Whatever he did, there was always the next level. And uh, in one sense, it's tiring. Uh, will you leave me alone, kind of thing? In the other uh, sense, 
it, it um, keeps you going. I tried to work in a factory when I was a kid. I was getting a little bit sick. Because I'm not a factory worker. My system was bing, bing, bing. I'm getting dizzy. My heart was palpitating. Uh, I started to go a little psycho. <laughs> really? And I realized I had to do something. It's going crazy. It's not fun. Because you can't get out of this tight place. You know it's crazy. You can't get out. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to go back there. <laughs> uh, so I had to open. That's when I did heavy duty meditation to to get more conversant with these energies. I had no choice. If I did it, it would kind of destroy me. So since it was like that throughout his whole life, always under pressure. Mm -hmm.